हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज रेट्रोग्रेसिव मेटामोरफोसिस इन यूरोकोडाटा और यूरोकोडेट्स मेटामोरफोसिस इज अ चेंज फ्रॉम द ज्यूवेनाइल टू एडल्ट स्टेज इन हुई द डेवलपमेंट पासिस थ्रू डिफरेंट लार्वल स्टेजेस व्हिच इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द एडल्ट स्टेज मेटामोरफोसिस ऑफ द असेशियन लार्वा इज यूनिक एंड begins almost explosively it involves transformation of an active non feeding pelagic lecithotropic that is that feeds on its own yolk reserves and tail lar- larva having many advanced features such as axial notochord dorsal neural tube and special sense organs into an inert sedentary or sessile simple primitive and plancotrophic filter feeding adult with only a pharynx with stigmata and endostyle or style both indicating the caudate features of adult ascidian in retrogressive metamorphosis the larva possesses advanced characteristics which are lost during the development and the adult is either sedentary or degenerated with the primitive characteristics retrogressive metamorphosis is a characteristics of an ascidian or tunicates of eurocordate ascidians are sac like marine in- invertebrates filter feeders which composed of a tough outer tunic made of the polysaccharide cellulose so they are also called tunicates eurocordate adults being sedentary so degenerative characteristics while the free swimming tadpole larva so advanced caudate characteristics which are the lost which are lost during the metamorphosis metamorphosis in ascidian tadpole larva metamorphosis in ascidian tadpole larva involves three types of changes retrogressive progressive molecular changes retrogressive changes it involves degeneration or destruction of larval tissues and some structure such as follows the long tail with caudal fin starts reducing and finally disappear caudal muscles nerve cord notochord disappear as they break down and are consumed by phagocytes larval sense organs the ocellulose and olith olith and lost and sensory vesicle is transformed into the adult cerebral ganglion adhesive papillae and ectodermal ampullae disappear completely anterior region between between point of attachment that is adhesive papillae and mouth shows rapid growth while original dorsal side with atriopore stops growth this causes shifting of mouth through 90 degree 90 degree okay this causes of mouth shifting of mouth through 90 degree they are for the final branchial and atrial apertures in the adult represent the original anterior and dorsal sides of the larva then second one is progressive changes some larval structures necessary for survival become more elaborated and specialized in each adult such as due to loss of tail the trunk becomes pear shaped and four uh, larger ectodermal ampullae grow out of its four corners these ampullae firmly anchor the metamorphosis tadpole to the substratum and also serve for respiration as a blood like fluid keeps circulating through them soon two more smaller ectodermal ampullae appear dorsal laterally then no anterior region between point of attachment that is adhesive papillae and mouth 
exhibits rapid growth while original dorsal side with atriopore stops growth this causes shifting of mouth through 90 degree the body too rotates so that general form of the adult sessile organi- organism is assumed then adult neural glands on nerve cerebellar ganglion are formed by the neural tube and trunk ganglion come to lie mid dorsally between mouth and atriopore the trunk ganglion itself persists as visceral nerve with the absorption of its taste taste covering the mouth becomes functional and the filter mode of feeding by incoming ciliary water currents pharynx greatly enlarges develops blood vessels and stigmata multiply rapidly forming the branchial sac stomach enlarges intestine elongates and gets curved and liver develops atrial cavity becomes more extensive circulatory system with heart and pericardium develops gonads and gonadocs develop from larval mesodermal cells taste or tunic spreads to cover entire animals becomes thick tough and vascular and attaches the animal by forming a food forming of food if necessary thus foregoing metamorphic changes mark the beginning of the sedentary actively feeding sexually adult life which soon starts producing gametes first ova and later sperms molecular changes molecular changes mankett and coiden in 1965 studied the molecular changes which takes place during metamorphosis they studied the metabolism of protein and nucleic acid and pointed out this that some protein synthesis occurs throughout the development and with the outset of metamorphosis extensive degradation extensive degradation of proteins begins followed by rapid synthesis of new proteins conclusion of retrogressive metamorphosis as a result of retrogressive metamorphosis the free swimming photopositive and geonegative ascidian tadpole larva changes into fixed inactive geopositive and photonegative adult the coded characteristics of larva like notochord nerve cord and sense organs are completely lost in adult